On this episode of Gadget, we're going uber geek green with the Xantrex X-Power Power Pack Solar. We'd like to thank our production sponsors, the University Catholic Center, the California Province of the Society of Jesus, and Gateway. Hiya, and welcome back to Gadget at the techstop.net. It's the place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Palace, here of the Society of Jesus. I'm a member of the California province of the Jesuits. We are the largest religious order in the Catholic Church, and we're here in the Center for Apostolic Technology in Honolulu, Hawaii. Now, before we get onto the tech, I, I want to send another request out there. Now, we've been very grateful for the response that we've been getting for people subscribing to Gadget. It, it's helped us out quite a bit. But what we found is that it's just not enough. I mean, if even a quarter of the people who download our episodes directly from the techstop.net were to subscribe on YouTube, we'd have between 20 to 30,000 subscribers. And that would just make a huge difference when we go out there and we try to get the gear that you want to see. Now, right now we're working on a couple of reviews between laptops from different manufacturers and cell phones, but we can only do that if we can prove to the manufacturers that we're getting out to you. And we know we are but we need those numbers. So if you have some time, please, please go to our page at YouTube at www.youtube.com forward slash gadget TTS. That's gadget, the tech stop and subscribe. If you don't have an account, it takes five minutes. And if you do, all you have to do is click the subscribe button and you'd be helping us out a ton. Thank you very much. And remember, we're here for you. Now let's get to the tech power. Power is what makes us geeks go. I mean, everything from our notebooks to our cell phones to our media players needs power. And uh, in the past, we've been taking that power from sources like uh, disposable batteries or rechargeable batteries, the different levels of rechargeable batteries, even a little bit of solar, maybe some wind power, but mostly from AC to DC converters. And in this world that is exceptionally PC right now and, and eco-conscious, that's just not the thing to do. Well, we talked to our friends over at Xantrex, and if you don't know Xantrex, they are a maker of some very efficient, very cool, very large-scale energy-producing equipment. Everything from solar to large power transformers, the stuff that makes businesses go. Well, we asked them if they might have something for our crowd, for our audience, and they sent us this. The Xantrex X-Power PowerPack Solar 400 is a mobile battery, solar charger, power inverter, and emergency lighting system rolled into one. At 12 pounds, the PowerPack Solar feels surprisingly light. The large handle allows the unit to be easily transported from place to place. Out of the box, the PowerPack Solar comes with everything you need to be up and charging in minutes. Xantrex has included an AC to DC charging adapter, a 12-volt charging cable, and the instruction manual. The most distinguishing feature of the Xantrex power pack is the 5 watt solar panel at the front of the unit. There is a kickstand on the back of the power pack that allows you to tilt the entire device to take full advantage of the solar charging option. The panel is also detachable and comes with a 1 meter length of cord linked to the main unit through a dual banana plug connector. This allows you to keep the power pack out of the sun while positioning the solar panel for best exposure. You can also reverse the panel before locking it into place protecting the solar cells while in transit. There are three buttons under the LCD panel. One turns the light on and off. The middle button toggles the power to the DC ports, while the third allows the user to turn on the AC inverter. The PowerPack Solar has a plethora of power output options. It includes an AC inverter with two plugs for those who need to light up their AC appliances. It also has two different DC output options, a traditional 12-volt power plug and a 5-volt USB port for charging up phones, iPods, and other USB-powered gadgets and knickknacks. The PowerPack Solar is rated for 320 watts of continuous draw and a 600-watt peak load. That means that you'll be able to run appliances like laptops, media players, LCD screens, and radios, but don't even think about plugging in your hairdryer, heater, or vacuum. The PowerPack Solar uses a 12-volt, 10-amp, 120-watt sealed lead-acid battery, Though runtime with the power pack isn't an exact science, it should be able to extend the runtime of most of your small gadgets by a dozen or so hours. It was able to run my Xbox 360 with its 120 watt draw for about an hour. 
The LED lights on the PowerPack Solar are bright and quite power efficient, designed to last for up to 48 hours. However, both sides of the PowerPack Solar are equipped with lights and there is no way to turn on just one set or the other. So the PowerPack Solar is much better equipped for general illumination than for directed lighting. The LCD panel on the PowerPack provides some useful at-a-glance information about your unit. Turning on the unit will give you the charge level indicated by the letter C and the AC inverter's output power in watts indicated by the letter P. The LCD on the power pack is a nice touch, but unfortunately we found the display to be inaccurate as to the charge state of the battery. However, it was still quite useful in providing the output of the inverter, letting you know how much power your AC appliances were drawing. While testing the Xantrex power pack solar, we found it to be quite useful. It was light enough to carry with us on excursions, tough enough to handle sand and a little moisture, and versatile enough to power up our devices, whether they be our personal electronics or an aerobed pump. There are three options for charging the unit. The first is to use the 500 milliamp AC to DC adapter. The second is to use the 5 watt solar panel. And the third is to connect the device to the 12 volt DC output plug on your vehicle. The first two methods are slow. Very slow. Using the included AC adapter, it took an average of 18 hours to charge the unit from completely dead. A small fan kicks in while charging to make sure that the battery and charging components don't overheat. The 5 watt solar panel should technically be able to charge the battery in about 20 hours, but since sunlight is often less than optimal, we were seeing charge times over 40 hours, spread out over 5 days of sunlight. The third method of charging to use the 12 volt DC input was much faster, needing less than 2 hours to charge the power pack from empty. This means that you'll want to do most of your charging through the DC power port, leaving the AC adapter for trickle charging and the solar panel for those times when you are really off the grid. The Xantrex X-Power PowerPack Solar 400 is available now for between $100 and $160. Okay, let's start with the negatives. The battery, too small. The solar panel, too weak. The energy gauge, too inconsistent. Now right there, you might think that those three big ticket items might knock this into the craptacular pile of technology, but you'd be wrong. You see, for what it does, and for what it was advertised as, it, it's actually a very competent piece of gear. It's not supposed to run your household. It's not supposed to keep all of your gadgets charged. It's not supposed to be able to, to take you off the grid. What it is supposed to do is to be a self-contained unit that not only can give you portable power, but can give you a little bit of power generation and uh, emergency style uh, access to, well, your gadgets. And it does that well. I mean, this is something that you can give to your parents, you can give to your grandmother, you can give to the non-tech savvy and tell them, look, just keep this in a window or keep it in uh, the back of your car or in a shed with access to sunlight and the solar panel will make sure that it stays topped off, that it will be available in an emergency. And for that, you know, Xantrex has just done a bang up job. This is a fantastic unit. But where I see this really coming into play, and, and again, all of this stuff is going to void your warranty, is in the hands of hackers. At 100 to 130 bucks, this is something that you can sort of buy and afford to make the centerpiece of your power generation facility. Now, anything above the 5 watt solar panel is going to void the warranty, but what we did find was when we opened this up, the circuitry in here really should be able to handle between 15 to 20 watts before it blows it out, so you, you could play with a larger panel. Also, if you want to bypass that altogether, you could get some of those solar panels that have their own built-in regulators at 12 volts and use the DC power or the AC power in and, uh, well, just charge it up that way. I mean, if you put enough panels on this thing, you could have it up at uh, 80 or so, maybe even 100 watts, and suddenly this little power generation unit becomes something that is quite formidable. It's something that really can extend the runtime of your gadgets. Now, if you're going to start hacking this thing up, I suggest you first go to the Xandrix website because they actually have pretty detailed uh, specs that you'll be able to find if this is going to fit into your project. But if you're looking for a source of power that's always going to be there, if you want something that's a bit greener, if you want something that's really mobile, if you want something that's just, well, kind of <laughs> uber geek cool, might I suggest you take a look at the Xandrix X-Power Power Pack Solar. You can find out more about our review of the Power Pack by going to our website at www.thetechstop.net. If you click the Gadget tab, you'll be able to find all of our reviews in high resolution. If you want to send us an email message, you can reach us at gadget at thetechstop.net. Well, I've been your host, Father Robert Ballaser. This has been the Center for Apostolic Technology. And remember, 
There's no Uber Geek without you. Brr, brr, brr.